Well, President Museveni has promised to punish Honorable Joel Senyonyi over the ongoing investigations into the Uganda Airlines. I also have an update from His Excellency Bobby Wine's camp. You don't really want to miss on that. Makere University want Jennifer Bamoturachi to apologize for tarnishing their name in the media. I have all the details. Well, a very good morning. Thank you for making the Buzz UG your number one platform for all the trending stories happening in the country. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before I go any further, it's very sad in Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago's camp. He lost his father, Haj Muhammad Mirundi, yesterday. According to reports, he will be laid to rest today at Kabungo, that is Kalungo district. Very sad news right there. May God kafat Lord Mayor's family and may Mzee's soul rest in peace. Well, in other news... Uh, yesterday marked four years since His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, was released by military court and rearrested. In 2018, Bobby Wine was rearrested and drove to high court in Gulu to face treason charges. Uh, Bobby Wine and several other members of parliament were arrested at the height of the scaffold in the Arua by election where it is alleged that one of the vehicles of President Museveni had been stoned by Bobby Wine's unruly crowd. Bobby Wine, who had been in prison, was tortured by his captors and his driver, Yasin Kauma, had been shot dead on the night before his arrest. Uh, Bobby Wine's prolonged detention made Kampala City ungovernable, with protests taking the center stage and spreading to different parts of the country. Uh, the international community itself condemned the violent arrest of Bobby Wine and uh, other members of parliament. Uh, some members of parliament were Honorable Gerald Karuhanga, Honorable Kasiano Wadri, Honorable Zake Francis Butebi, among others. Bobby Wine, in his communication to the followers yesterday on his social media platforms, said, To date, the guns that were paraded as having been found in my hotel room have never resurfaced. Our vehicles, which were illegally impounded, have never been released. There has been no justice for Yasin Kauma and all others who have been murdered since. This is why we cannot and shall not give up until Uganda is free. There you go. That was part of Bobby Wine's communication yesterday on his social media platforms. <laughs> Now, in other news, during the Monday cabinet meeting, President Museveni categorically informed his cabinet that he has a very low opinion of Kosase because it's full of crooks and economic saboteurs headed by Joel Senyonyi, who he vowed to politically punish at the right time for standing in his way to economically transform the country. Now, sources say that President Museveni has advised the Uganda Airlines top management not to waste time responding to Joel Senyonyi's summons. President Museveni assured his cabinet that he's a Sabalwanyi who has fought and defeated many political enemies and according to him, Honorable Joel Senyonyi cannot sabotage his plans to revive Uganda Airlines into a viable and a vibrant entity. I think that's why Bamoturachi did not appear before the committee yesterday because she has the backup of the president. Anyway guys, in case you have anything on your mind on this, just put it down in the comment section. Now, in other news, activists of the torture survivors movement yesterday carried a casket to the embassy of Saudi Arabia in Uganda, located in Kampala. Now, the group led by John Bosco Serunguma says they are protesting against the murder of migrant workers in Arab countries. They feel like government has not done enough to protect the migrant workers in these Arab countries. Now, 
kukiriza so echegeza nti okusirika kwabwe kuogera binji company ze zili recruiting abantu ndoza zili mu state mwenyini twali wo chikolebwa tukoze buli kimu tuogedde byo nabiganye Saudi Arabia sili se busiri site wali yo kivayo fendo ngaba tocha survivors movement oba batocha victims ne tusalawo ne tugama ntugenda leta coffee nyeno well there you go but one of the spokespersons of Uganda police right here in Kampala Patrick Onyango says they managed to arrest one person among the protesters ogenda kubalinya mukagere mukubalinya mukubalinya mukagere twakuteyo omuvubo ko mu gwe bayita Edu Sam twagala kukubiriza bantu mulanga anto ba waluwo choyagala ogenda kola mu mu embassy mu embassy wona mu Uganda bade tusaba waluwa mateka but honestly guys our people are suffering in these arab countries and uh, i also feel like something must be done uh, people are being killed and uh, you know president museveni's government is not doing much about this issue something must be done really well in other news the Chasela Makere University Professor Banabas Nawangwe has demanded an apology from Jennifer Bamuturachi, the CEO of Uganda Airlines, over claims that her academic documents had been misplaced by the university. Bamuturachi last week informed the Kosase that she was unable to access her degree transcript due to unavoidable circumstances at the university. <laughs> statement that depicts Makere as a careless institution and she should actually apologize to Makere University. Well, in other news, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Horrible Thomas Tayewa, has spoken out on the alleged threats and uh, intimidation of members of Kosase, tasking any aggrieved member to meet the leadership. The Speaker, in his communication, said a lot of controversies have caught his eye surrounding members who are trying to block the committee from executing its duties. Or trying to put to be rid of this house when it's conducting its duty, that that has to stop. We shall not allow anyone to impute ill motive on this house. Well, in other news, and this is coming in from the entertainment industry, uh, people have been questioning why Rema Namakula no longer put up pictures with Habi, Dr. Hamza, on her social media platforms, but she has finally revealed the reason why. While appearing in an interview recently, Rema said that she enjoyed making people happy with her posts, but later she realized that people were not happy with her relationship. <laughs> You should just be free, let it all out, and people see it because it's normal. Then again, I didn't mind answering. The children know what most people can see. Chava, I'm going to be too young. Never chava, never need it. Rema also commented on her relationship with ex-baby daddy, that is uh, Eddie Kenzo. She said everything is okay, they have no problem, the co-parenting is basically going on very well. There you go, beautiful Rema, right there speaking. Thank you so much for, you know, keeping it the buzz, UG, all the way to the end of this story. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It's a bye for now.